I love our country, but honestly, I don't trust many of our country's leaders. I've pledged allegiance to this country, but specifically my allegiance is to the Constitution. My gratitude for this country is rooted in its biblical foundation, its amazing freedoms, and the sacrifice of men and women who have fought to protect that foundation and those freedoms. So whether the revisionist historians like it or not, several of our founding fathers were influenced by the Bible to determine many of the formative principles of our country. For example, did you know James Madison wisely included in our Constitution a separation of powers, and specifically he based that on Isaiah 33, 22. It's in that verse where Madison saw the need for three branches of government. Isaiah 33, 22 says, For the Lord is our judge, the Lord is our lawgiver, and the Lord is our king. It's those phrases where we have our judicial, the Lord is judge, and legislative, the Lord is lawgiver, and executive, the Lord is our king, branches of government. It's from that verse where we are able to have a balance of power in our constitutional republic. That one decision and that one Bible verse has prevented our country from being an autocracy over the last almost 250 years. Another example is John Jay. He was the first Supreme Court Chief Justice of the United States, and he once said that the Bible is the best of all books, for it is the Word of God and teaches us the way to be happy in this world and in the next. He said to regulate your life by its precepts. John Jay was right, because through the Bible, God has given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. And I do wish we had leaders in our government like James Madison and John Jay. Clearly, those men respected the Bible. There was a day not that long ago where in the United States of America, our leaders understood that true strength for life comes from the Word of God. They understood, as Psalm 46 tells us, that God is our refuge and strength. He is a very present help in trouble. Personally, the Bible has given me mental health and emotional balance and spiritual strength and even physical vitality. The Bible is precious, according to 2 Peter, and it's profitable, according to 2 Timothy, and it's perfect, according to Psalm 19. And whether it's popular or not, I encourage you to read your Bible. Don't read it just for the sake of our country, but more importantly, read it for your sake. I urge you to study and apply the Word of God to your life. I started out this video by saying, I love our country, and I do. But more significantly, I love my Bible. I love my Bible because it reveals the key to heavenly citizenship. Even though I'm a sinner, I've been adopted into the family of God. And if you're not already, you can be as well. I encourage you to fall in love with your Bible, and then you'll fall in love with God. Because it's this precious, profitable, and perfect book where you'll find lasting strength for your life.